we're going to do how to save on travel as a senior today. Uh, and the first thing to do, <laughs> yeah, memory care, right? Long-term memory care. Uh, first thing is do is remember where you put that jar that you're saving your money in for travel. So uh, just don't forget where you put it. Uh, let me know if you learn anything from my classes. Uh, you'll get some notes at the end of the class today. So if you if you think, oh gosh, what was that point he made? Don't worry, it comes to you in your notes with some uh, a few links if you need them. And uh, my email address, rusticguidegetsetup.io. I'd love to hear from learners. Tell me if you learn anything from my classes or give me a suggestion of a class. Again, there's, you can also give feedback. There's like a feedback form in there. I love feedback. Tell me if I'm doing a good job or not. That's how I make my classes better. Today, we're going to talk about the age at which you are a senior. We're going to talk about the types of discounts available to seniors. We're going to talk about sightseeing discounts and transportation discounts and free days, which are really available to anybody. There are occasional places in the world where they have like free days for seniors. That's, those are the most, those are the best ones. Um, anybody in the lounge, by the way, if you're watching out there in the lounge, hit the join Zoom button and come right in here to the live studio. Then you can, um, you can ask me questions. I'm just checking how many we have in the live studio here. We have 18 people. That's a good class. That's a good size. Again, I love participation. Send me your ideas, questions, comments in the chat. Okay, the best way to save on travel as a senior, this is the secret, is to use your time. You have extra time finding travel discounts and deals that anyone can get. Okay, learn to use Google Flights, Airbnb, Booking.com, Amtrak, Hopper, Scott's Cheap Flights. I do classes or have done classes, at least in the past, where I've taught all these things. Anybody can learn these, but a lot of folks don't have time. If you're a senior, you have more time. I just read a statistic the other day. I don't know if this is true or not, um, but this was from someone that runs a travel coaching business. And they said, expect to spend eight hours planning for every day you're going to travel. That's a lot. I, eight hours traveling for a day's travel. I don't know if that's true. But you're going to spend several hours planning. This is true for every day you're going to travel. So if you're going to do a two hour, a, a two day, a two week trip, that's 20, that's 14 days. Expect to spend 20 to 30 hours, in my opinion, probably planning for it because you got to get your, your uh, flight. You've got to find ground, ground transportation or car rental. You got to find a place to stay. You got to figure out what you're going to see. Uh, if there's train schedules, I teach all this stuff. So now that you're a senior, you have some time in your hands, you can learn to use all these tools and save like anybody else can save. So that's the number one secret that you learn from this class. Uh, thank you, Pat put a comment in here. She says she hopes to learn about traveling out of the country for a longer period of time, one to two months with one or two rental locations. Excellent, Pat, that sounds like a lot of fun. That's my kind of travel is uh, going for a longer time. Um, by the way, uh, Pat, there's something called home exchange, um, which you can learn about um, in classes about how to do that. And you can exchange your home with someone in another country and stay in each other's homes. We have done classes on home exchange in the past. So anyway, um, that's one way that when you want to stay somewhere a longer period of time, you can save money. Okay, the age at which you get a discount as a senior can vary. Actually, let me back let, let me back up before I get into this. So all the things you can learn in travel classes, if they're not showing me or they're not giving scheduling the classes for any of this stuff, you all have to holler. Okay, get set up. There's fewer classes now than they used to. I haven't done the Google Flights class in probably five weeks. So I'd love to do it again. I'd love to do the Airbnb, booking.com, Amtrak. Actually, the Amtrak. The, the train class is coming up next week. So watch out for that one. Scott's cheap flights. I love to show you how to do any of this stuff. So comments or questions about this one point. Okay. All right, so we got out of the way. The thing, th number one thing you can do is use your time. Let me point out that this age of being a senior varies. The, the high, the, the uppermost age is generally 65. There's one age at which there's there's one 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 perk, one privilege that you have to be 70 to get. Anybody know what that one is? 
a super senior perk. I know. Okay, what is it? I'm, I'm not eligible yet, but when you go through an airport, you don't have to take your shoes off. Thank you, Nancy, that's it. So if you're not 70 and Nancy's not eligible, neither am I, that gives you something to look forward to. But here's another secret. If you have TSA pre-check, you don't have to do it either. So anyway, when I first saw that, I was going through Charlottesville Airport. Nan Nancy probably knows Charlottesville Airport. And I saw that sign and I was like 55. I thought, well, that gives me something to look forward to. Anyway, 65 in the US is generally the senior age. For some things, it's 62. For some things, it's 60. You'll, you may find in Europe, UK, Ireland, other places in Europe, 60 is the senior age. They often have uh, the people retire at a younger age there than in the US. So 60 might be the so-called senior age. 55 AARP, I think, I don't know, maybe 50 AARP, I don't know. I'm not sure AARP cards you don't. They'll, they'll, they'll take your membership at any age, right? I don't know, I'm just kidding. You, I guess they've got travel discounts. We'll talk about those anyway. Make sure you know this if you're looking for your discount. Um, anyway, okay, back, let me back up. Any questions about this age thing? They're really specific for some things. If you're going to a museum and it says senior discount and it doesn't say what the age is, take it. Um, I wouldn't worry, they don't, I've never been carded. Okay. Now, the number one way you can save on money, and so if you came, came to this class, this is the number one benefit you're going to get from this class, is the America the Beautiful Lifetime Senior Pass, okay? America the Beautiful Lifetime Senior Pass. If you don't have one of these, you're missing something. By the way, you can get it at age 62. Um, this gets you into all national parks, all national park service sites that charge admission for free. What do I mean by National Park Service sites that charge admission? Well, there's 62 national parks or 63, but the National Park Service runs like over 400 properties or 400 places in the U.S. National battlefields, national historical parks, parks, uh, all sorts of places. And a lot of these charge admission. Um, so if you have your pass, it gets you in there free. So, so for example, here in Virginia, uh, Yorktown, Jamestown are run by the National Park Service. Um, Appomattox Courthouse, all that kind of stuff, historical sites. If, it, if they charge admission, you get into those for free with this pass. You can also get into up on Skyline Drive, Shenandoah National Park, uh, Harper's Ferry National Historical Landmark or whatever it's called, National Historical Park. That's all you can get in um, for less. Judy says hers looks different. I, yes, I know. I've seen I've seen cards uh, from the past. That's what mine looks like. Um, they cost. Well, here's the details. Um, Eighty dollars. Okay, used to be ten. Used to be twenty. Or used to be ten. Then it was twenty. Now it's eighty. There was a big hue and cry when it went up to eighty. Frankly, I I paid eighty. I think that's a bargain in my opinion. Okay, it gets you in all four hundred nineteen national park sites. 2,000 national, national recreation areas, up to four people in a vehicle, and you're eligible at age 62. Um, what do I mean by four people in a vehicle? You can go in with three other people, just flash your pass. Uh, so like I like to go up in the Skyline Drive a lot because it's only 25 miles away. I love being able to just go up there and flash my pass. I can take three grandkids if I want, or my wife and I can take two kids or whatever to go hiking. Um, remember this, this thing right here, that pass is what you're buying. You're not buying like a membership in it. So if you lose that pass, you have to pay to get a new one. That card, the card matters. All right. So whatever you do, you can't like call them and say, I'm, I lost my card. Can you send me a new one? They'll say, sure, 80 bucks. So just make sure you don't lose it. I keep mine in a special place, but I take it with me whenever I go on a, lo a longer travel because you never know. Hey, I think I'll stop in there, get in there free with my pass. All right. You also can get a 50% discount on some of the amenity fees that they charge, like camping, swimming, boat launch, specialized interpretive services, tours, that kind of stuff. You can you might may get a discount on it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I got a 50% discount camping up off on the park campgrounds up off Skyline Drive in the Shenandoah National Park. Yeah. Questions?
No questions. Nobody in the in the lounge got a question. This is a great. This is a great bonus. Um, someone asked me if folks overseas can get it who are not American citizens, and I actually think the answer is maybe. Um, I. I <laughs> How's that for a, how's that for hedging myself? The reason is I don't remember that um, Charlotte says this is moving too slow. Usually these people tell me I'm moving too fast. Um, I don't remember them asking like my place of birth or anything. They just asked me my home address. So you have to have a US address to get it. So if you're temporarily in the US and you're not from the US, I'm pretty sure you can get it if you give that US address. So that's my answers. Can we get a list of national park areas? Kathy, I'll show you uh, at the end. If you remind me, I'll show you the website where you can see them all. So I go to Skyline Drive. I go to Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. I go to Assateague Island National Seashore. Those are all, I actually bought my, my pass to Assateague Island. Any place that you um, have to pay admission to get in. Oops, I went too far there. Nope, back up. Any place that you have to pay admission to get in like Harpers Ferry, they'll sell you the pass. OK, um, you can also buy it online. I think they charge five extra bucks for sending it to you, something like that. But uh, I bought mine at Assateague Island there when I, I turned 62. I was so excited. OK, um, then here's here's one other thing. So that that's the National Park Pass. Any questions about that before I move on? Um, Judy said she got a free pass. Um, I'm not sure. I'm looking in the chat. I do know that if you have are handicapped, I think uh, people can get a free pass. But I think you have to get it. An, it's an annual pass. Um, um, I have there was there was a time when they offered it. Um, it was a very short period when they were starting the card, and it's because I'm old. Um, and I got it. I signed up then and got it right away. Okay. Thank you, Judy. And so it, I was going to a park and they gave it to me for, you know, and, and, and I have kept it and treasured it. Okay. Good for you for keeping it. Uh, Beth says she's got a lifetime pass for handicap, no charge. I have a, I have a nephew with Down syndrome. He get their family through him get an annual pass. They get that 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 America the Beautiful the pa America the Beautiful Pass is basically just admittance to everything in that park service. Lifetime means you pay for once all your all the rest of your life. My I have a nephew with Down Down syndrome. They get one every year, but I think when um, well anyway they they get one every year. All right. Um, now here's one other rule. This is what I call rule number one. So you don't like how I, I gave you a secret and then I told you about the best thing you can learn. Now this is rule number one for finding discounts. Uh, ask if there's a senior discount, okay? Um, I'm hoping we're all at an age where we're not afraid of asking. For one thing, okay, here's the thing. Let's say if you're afraid to admit you're as old as you are, you probably won't want to ask if there's a senior discount because you'll have to admit how old you are. But if you're not worried that you look as old as you might be, why not ask? So I ask all the time. I've even asked in Dunkin' Donuts if they had a senior discount for coffee. They said no. I forgot it was McDonald's. It does. But anyway, um, museums, theaters, all sorts of places can have a senior discount. So just ask. There's not, you learn, you uh, lose nothing by asking. Typically when they say senior discount, they don't say like, you know, can I see your ID? They, they just say yes or no. And then they give it to you. I, I've never had anyone question my age. I don't know why. Uh, when I asked for a senior discount, so anyway, just ask. That's the number one rule. And I've done this traveling in the U.S. I've done it traveling abroad. Um, I, I Well, anyway, that's the number one rule. Just ask. Don't be afraid to ask. I don't think any of us are an age anymore where we're afraid to ask about things um, and they don't card you. So number one rule, ask. All right. Now, here's some other places you can get discounts. Amtrak offers a 10% discount to senior travelers for coach travel on most trains 
but the discount does not apply to sleep or travel too bad because that's pretty expensive. Business class or most trips on Excel. Seniors can get bigger discounts on some flash sales and routinely get 50% discounts on down Easter trains between Boston and Portland, Maine. Now, there's a, there should be an asterisk on this. So I'm going to stop this for one second. I'm going to go in to edit this. And I'm going to put an asterisk right there because it just dawned on me there should be an asterisk on this. Uh, because I just booked a train. I haven't been on a Amtrak in years. I love Amtrak. I used to take it all the time, but I haven't been on an Amtrak train now in several years. Um, I think it's been about four years. Well, um, you don't always get that 10%. That's 10% off a regular price. So if you are got your ticket through, uh, through uh, Amtrak and it was a flash sale, and they have lots of flash sales, lots of flash sales, um, not just the Down Easter, but they have tra fair deals all the time. You don't get a discount off that. So my wife and I are taking three weeks from the day, we're taking the train from Washington to Boston. And uh, I think the round trip was like... Uh, $109. Um, and uh, when, I, when I, I, I put all my information in there and I got my, I got, you know, went through the checkout and I put in this a discount or whatever. I put senior discount, didn't give me a discount. So I went ahead and booked it because I was afraid it could go away. And um, the next day I called them up and said, I, I didn't get a 10% discount on that. And they, they looked at my face and said, well, that was a sale. We don't give discounts off sales. So that's kind of like, that's why there's an asterisk here. They don't, they, these have to be regular fares. Okay. So there's, see, there's a, there's an exception to everything. Um, now also some, let me mention in that before I get into AERP, um, airlines also have it. And, uh, for example, United Airlines says they give a 10% senior discount, but I'm going to take a guess that those are on regularly priced tickets and not fair sales. I'll, I'm going to try it this year. Next time I take a United flight, I'm going to try it out and see if I get a discount. So I'll, I'll add to the knowledge base of this class in the future. Okay, now Amtrak, any questions with anyone about Amtrak? Okay, no questions, all right. Um, AARP has many travel discounts. Uh, you have to get your membership. Uh, they, I don't know, the first year membership is $16. They offer you deals all the time. Just wait until you get a deal. Uh, and they, I'll show you, we'll go to the website in a second. We'll look at their travel discounts. But the big one that they offer is that um, British Airways will give you $65 off a regular price a round trip ticket. And um, you know, flying from the US to London and back, that's like a 10% discount. That's pretty good. Um, I would do it. I'll do it tomorrow. Um, their mo most of their discounts they have are hotels. And we'll look at that in a minute. And rental cars. Uh, their rental car deals are good. Um, we looked at that recently because uh, we were considering getting a car rental. We're, I'm going to Maine in three weeks and for a week. And we're, since we're taking the train, we thought of renting a car. But it turns out that um, the car rentals are pretty expensive. So I looked at it through AARP and they, they were a better deal than I could get like through booking.com. So it's worth looking it up. Okay, let's, let's, let's step out of here one second and let's look at AARP. All right. All right, welcome to AARP. There we go, that's a local. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, member benefits. So if you're, if you're you know, a member, you log in, but I can, without logging in, I can show you the member benefits right here. So, you know, here's all their little benefits, travel, gas and auto service, technology and wireless, uh, health and wellness, shopping and groceries. Um, you know, under health and wellness, for example, you get dis, dis, uh, tips and tools for living well with hearing loss. Uh, they have an adult, they have a, 
uh, dental insurance plan, vision care, this kind of thing. Um, they do have insurances they offer, like long-term care. That's what I was talking about, walking between the first and second floor. Um, you can get a Medicare supplement from United Health through them. When I, before I turned 65, I got so much mail. discounts you can look at. They do have some pretty good travel discounts. You click in here and um, the two things where you're going to find the best deals with AARP discounts as a senior are um, car rentals. So Avis and budget truck rental and budget car rental, you get 30% off. That's pretty good. So it's worth checking uh, with them if you're looking to rent a car. Um, again, you might find a better deal on booking.com or Orbitz or some other uh, online travel agency, you might find a better deal at renting a car, but check with AARP and compare it. So that's the number one thing. Um, if you live in a big city, a zip car looks like they give you 20 bucks off your annual membership. That's not bad. Um, there's other stuff like cruises, 5%. That's not very much, 50 bucks off call at. Um, British Airways, you get that 65 to 200. And if you're thinking, oh, I'll go for the 200, that's probably first class. So just beware, you know, you can pay a lot more to get that 200 bucks off. Where you're going to find lots and lots of AARP discounts is on hotels. Um, I mean, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, 10, 15. 20, 25, 30. Um, that's like 90 different. I was just doing a little quick multiplication. That's 90 different discount offers. It's pretty hard not to find a discount through here. I mean, there isn't much that's not on here unless it's one of those young millennial type of hotels. But um they're generally just 10% off. And I'll be honest, I can often find a better deal than this by booking through an online travel agency like Orbitz, Expedia. Booking.com is the one I use the most. Often you can get a better deal there. So check it out. Just check it out. Um, this is where you'll get the most. Is the I mean, these are where you'll, uh, this is what they have the most of are hotel discounts. Like I said, Holiday Inn, Hilton, West, Best Western, Wyndham, Crown Plaza. There isn't much that isn't offered here. I mean, Hilton, probably half of these are Hiltons anyway, are owned by Hilton. Anybody got any questions or, or, or got a tip about any of this? Like I said, it's pretty hard not to find a hotel chain that's not on here. I mean, that's 90, 93 different choices. Okay. Um, well, there's other stuff here. It doesn't come under travel, so I won't cover it. But look, look at the website. If you, uh, if you get automatic renewal, it only, your membership only costs you $12 a year. So you, might, you probably will find something to save money off $12 a year. And you get the magazine. I get the magazine, I get the Bolton. I found something interesting in the Bolton last time I read it. So I think it's worth getting it. Anyway, all right. Unless there's any more questions about AARP, we'll return to some other ideas here. If you're going to other countries, you might uh, very likely find that they have their own um, senior discounts. Um, I've discovered this mostly traveling in Britain because that's where I've done the most uh, type of travel where I was going into sites that had um, uh, were charging admission like cathedrals, old churches, old forts and old castles and that kind of thing. You can get like a National Heritage, Heritage Trust. I think it's called, I think it's the National Heritage Trust in Britain. 
uh, you can get like a two week pass if you're traveling there. It allows you unlimited access to all their places. And I think they had a, a senior discount started at age 60. I think that's the one I'm talking about. Uh, I, when I was in Italy in, in, in April, my wife and I kept asking if there were senior discounts and museums and places and they just smiled and shook their head at us. Um, I think half the people trying to, no, I'm just joking. It seemed like half the people going in there were seniors, but I'm just joking. They, were, they weren't, a, I was in Florence and it was packed with people. Um, Fred, Fred Carpenter, I don't think so Fred here today. Fred will tell you the story that he spent, I think a month in, in Windsor. Okay, so Windsor is outside of London. Yeah, that's what you know where the, the queen has her castle. And he said there was like a weekly bus from Windsor into the city of London for seniors, it was free. So just ask, look out, keep your eye open. Um, these things are all worth paying attention to and doing some cost comparisons. For example, in the UK, a two together rail card costs 30 pounds and gets you a 30% discount. So my wife and I travel quite a bit by, by train in the UK in 2016, been a few years. That's a long time ago now, isn't it? Um, but if, you were, if we were going to spend more than 100 pounds on train tickets, we, we, we saved money and we did. I think we spent about 150 or 200 pounds. So we got 30% off of that. But it's always compare any of these kinds of things, the tickets you might get in advance. Uh, and sometimes you can get 30% off on the top of the online discount. By the way, note that when you're in other countries like the UK, those are called stack discounts. Uh, like I was just saying, Amtrak doesn't give you a stack discount. You can't take 10% off a discounted price. But other countries, you can add those up or stack them. Um, Gina, Jana wants to know what are the best apps for getting good hotels in Europe. Um, I use Booking.com. Um, I, in fact, I, I, that's my online travel agency. Um, I book all my 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 hotel hotel deals in Europe through booking.com. I don't think I've found better prices than that. Uh, hotels like uh, plane tickets, um, they're, they're pretty much fixed by either the hotel chain or the, the uh, airline and all the online travel agencies will find the same deals for you. The one difference is uh, if you do book a ticket through an online travel agency, you might get a discount if you, if you um, bundle a hotel with it. And I have done that, but I don't book my tickets anymore through uh, online travel agencies. I book them all through the airline, which by the way, look and see if the airline will bundle a hotel for you. They might do it. They sometimes, they, they often bundle car rentals and it's worth it. All right. Um, if you're from Michigan, are you getting that discount at the slopes? Uh, we always have people in these classes from Michigan because Michigan was like the first state to go on with online with Get Set Up and, and become a member for the whole state for seniors. And so somebody from Michigan was one of these classes said, guess what, Russ? Michigan seniors get discounts at the slopes. I said, I didn't know Michigan had slopes. I thought it was all flat. I was wrong. There are ski slopes in Michigan. There are ski slopes in California, right? Nikki, isn't take Lake Tahoe? Lake Nothing Tahoe. Hurt. And um, down south, there's an area called Big Bear where they, they ski down there. So um, there's a couple of places, good places around in California. Yep. All right, anybody else know about any senior travel discounts or senior free days that you might know of? One other tip, I didn't put it in the class, um, is that uh, a lot of museums in the US offer passes to libraries and you can go to the, your local library and check out a, a pass for a day. Like you check out a book, I think that's so cool. So um, don't tell anybody else that, and you'll get the you'll get access to those. Otherwise, if you tell people, they'll tell people. Next thing you know, everybody will want one. Uh, Gina asks a question here: Does Booking.com have last minute deals? The answer is yes. Well, let me put it this way, Gina: I'm not sure, I'm not sure they have last minute deals. They just have good deals. If you use Booking.com a lot, they give you discounts. 
I have I I started using them about five years ago, and I've and I'm sold on them completely. I don't use anything else to book lodging other than Airbnb. I always compare the two if I'm going somewhere. Uh, I will say what I like about Booking.com is uh, you were asking about hotels, but I like Booking.com because they very free. They have lots of guest apartments and houses, and they're they have a lot in Europe. More uh, suggestions or questions? We have time. I live near Savannah, Georgia, and they have muse they have different uh, uh, museums, uh, and uh, they have certain days when they're open to the public free. Okay. By the way, national parks, this is at a senior discount, but national parks do have free days. So you have to go to the website. Someone was asking at the beginning, and now I remember about asking about, na about national park sites. And I wanna make sure I honor that request to show you, and we have time today. So let me uh, show you the national park sites. Um, if you go to the National Park Service, let's see, it gets you out of the way there. If you go to the National Park Service, uh, you can find a park by state. So you can go in here like this and you can click on say Alabama and find out what's in Alabama. All right, All right do that now, thank you. Um, scroll down there, it gives you all the ones in Alabama. By the way, I just noticed Selma to Montgomery. That looks cool. Selma to Montgomery. 1996, you know the Congress established that. Or you can just search on the map. You can click on this like this and you can get the whole United States map. It also says Alaska, Hawaii, American Samoa, Guam, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and the North Mariana Islands, which I did not know had any National Park Service sites. So for example, uh, I don't know if we have anyone here from Missouri, but we can click on Missouri and it looks like we've got P Ridge NPM National, we'll find out what that means. Um, they have the Gateway Arch, Nash, George Washington Carver, Harry S. Truman, Lewis and Clark. These are National Historical Trail, National, Oregon National Historical Trail. Ozark National His Scenic River Riverways. See, these are all, it wasn't like when they made these up, they thought, what should we call this one? Should we call this, we, you know, just like they made up the names. Those were all kind of, uh, Congress has designated those names to that place and that name means something. Like if it's a National Scenic Riverway, it might mean, for example, that they can't develop on it or that limits runoff or something like that. National Historical Trail, you got the Pony Express, National Historical, there's a lot of trails going through Missouri. So that National Historical Park, St. Genevieve, the Tri National Historical Trail, Trail of Tears, the Grant Hist National Historical Society. Um, I didn't know uh, there was, that was in Missouri. National Battlefield. Um, let me just go back up here. Historical Trail, Historical Site. National Monument, National Park, National Historical Trail. So uh, if you click on them, it'll pop up. It'll say Nat Ozark National Scenic River. So that's what you'll get. That's NSR. Uh, click on this one. Come on. It should pop up there. Well, the map's acting a little funny on me, but that's how you can search by state. Um, if you want, you can go buy a book. I have the USA National Parks, all 62 of them. This is an older edition because it doesn't include the 63rd, which is the New River, which is not that far from me down in West Virginia. You can get this. If this, just, this is a guide to all the national parks. So that only has 63 sites in it if you have a new one. Um, 
So uh, let's see. Here's let me look in the in the uh, comments. Um, Pat says she recently switched credit cards to get points, which translate to miles for airline or hotel travel. Yes, that's a good thing to do, especially um, like let's say an airline card might give you uh, two extra points. They might give you like two extra points plus five points for buying a ticket. Like so that can add up to like seven points for every dollar you spend on a ticket. So and they can often give you free points at the beginning. Like if you spend a certain amount of money, they'll give you 30, 40, 50,000 points, which you can use for a flight. Um, and Tammy says local libraries have free classes for seniors. That's true. So do, um, all, by the way, I live in a college town. James Madison University has classes for seniors. Some, some are have, have a fee, some are free. And Linda says, have you done any senior group bus tours? Uh, I don't know if you mean if I've been on them or if I led them. Um, I don't think I've been on a senior bus tour that I can recall. I've forgotten. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't remember being on any senior bus tours. Um, but I may have, and I've just forgotten it. I have led bike tours and, the, and the, we, we rode the bus to the where we started and we did tell people about while we were going. So that's the closest I can say to a senior bus tour I've been on. Uh, so I hope that answered the question about how to find the National Park Service. By the way, that website, National Park Service, is a very good site. You can find out everything, admission fee. Of course, if you got your senior discount card, the admission fee is nothing. Uh, you can often, they have links that will help you um, book through them. So like if I want to book a campsite at, at the Shenandoah National Park, it'll take me to a place on the National Park site that'll help me uh, reserve a campsite. So that's all good stuff. Um, National Park Service, opening hours, closing hours. If there's something going on there, like, you know, Yellowstone recently had that closure, the information will all be there. Um, there you go. AARP has free movies for grown-ups, streams, and many online lectures. That's true. AARP even has online classes. Any more questions, folks? This is, we've got a couple, we still got 15 minutes, but we can also close if you want to, because I said this class wasn't going fast enough for somebody, so. Um, Judy asked, does cheap tickets still exist? Different than Scott's cheap flights? I don't know, I have not heard of uh, cheap tickets. Good question. Was that probably for cheap airline tickets, I guess? I, I do subscribe to Scott's Cheap Flights, $49 a year. You get a daily email of, of flight deals. And if you kind of know where you want to go or, or have a whole bunch of ideas, I shouldn't say know where you want to go. Let's say you got like 10 places you dream of going to. Definitely Scott's Cheap Flights is a, is, a, is a good service to sign up for because you'll suddenly discover, you know, I've been wanting to go to Scotland forever. I live in Boston and I just saw they said you can go to Scotland from Boston for, you know, $400. So they send you those those deals every day, and I got a good I booked a good flight for the, through them last year on for that through Scott's cheap flights. Um, let's see more questions, uh, Linda. I'm glad it was informative for you. I I appreciate that. Annie from the lounge asked, "Does Expedia still have last minute deals? They might. I don't use Expedia, so if anybody here." Um, knows, uses Expedia, you might be able to answer the question. Uh, Priceline, I think, was the kind of last minute deal place where you might say, like, I'm going to go up and stay in Montgomery County, Maryland tomorrow night. I'm offering to stay, you know, pay a hundred bucks a night and see if any of the hotels will bite. And Pat says AARP has movies almost every week. I say that. A 
Last chance for a question. You can ask a question by raising a hand, unmuting yourself or putting it in the chat. I hope you got something out of this. I'm sorry to say there aren't that many discounts when it comes to travel for seniors. The fact is there are just so many discounts out there for travel itself that that's why I say the best thing is to learn um, the, 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 the best thing to learn is uh, uh, how to use the tools that everybody else has access to. Jeff, the opera addict, asks everybody, where have you traveled to that you wish you didn't? <laughs> um, I'd have to think about that one. Even in some of the dullest places I've been, I, I appreciated being there. So as long as they have some good coffee, I'm pretty in a, in a comfortable bed. I'm all right. Well, thanks for coming, everybody. Um, this is my last class this week. Check my check schedule to find me next week. Sometimes there's, there's an alias doing my class. His name is Jack Murphy. So you might want to check and see if Jack's doing me next week. Um, um, a <laughs> couple of last comments. Uh, Wanda says she doubts if there are many discounts on flights right now. Actually, Wanda, there are, believe it or not. Um, I keep reading articles about talking about airline prices going up and believe it or not, there are still deals. There are still deals. Um, Believe it or not, every time there's bad news about flights being canceled or, or whatever, folks say, oh, I'm not going to fly. So anyhow, uh, there is a problem with lack of pilots and flight attendants. That is true. So anyway, thanks for coming today, everybody. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week.